Welcome to Career Gap Shop by the Heritage Academy, the Department of Media Science. I am your host, Ronojay Shah, and we have with us today internationally acclaimed theatre and film actor Ramanjit Kaur, who also happens to be the founder director of the Creative Arts Academy. An ace director, Ramanjit has been awarded the Sangeet Natak Academy's Ustad Bismillah Khan Yuva Puraskar Award, the Charles Wallace Award, and other national and international awards. Thank you for being with us today, ma'am. Thank you for inviting me. So, ma'am, you have been associated with theatre since a very young age. In fact, you had conducted your first workshop at the age of 15. So, how did you get into theatre in the first place? I started learning dance at the age of six and uh, I was uh, in my teens when my guru Padmashri Neelam Man Singh Chaudhary uh, she found me in my school and my professional career started. At the age of 15 I remember I had done my first play in the school uh, which uh, where I got uh, the best actress award in the Union Territory Chandigarh and for that uh, I was invited for the International Children Film Festival held at Bangalore and that was the time when we didn't even know what the film festivals are all about. Uh, we saw black and white television and uh, it was uh, 10 days of fairyland um, visit, you know. So after that, uh, of course, as my journey started with uh, Neelamji, uh, there's been no looking back. So uh, my first play with her was Hate Vagde Darya and uh, then I got my lead role in Naga Mandala by Girish Karnad. So after Naga Mandala, I must say that uh, it's been a very intense and uh, very, very beautiful journey. Ma'am, what advice and pointers do you have for aspiring actors who want to get into theatre? Uh, I would say first and foremost, train yourself. As Stanislavski says that, uh, uh, you know, a pianist has to regularly practice or a ballet dancer spends hours in rehearsals. But a theater actor thinks that they will sit for a cup of coffee and go ahead and do theater. So this is Konstantin Stanislavski, the Russian uh, theorist and uh, theater director. But, uh, uh, Keeping this in mind, we must always remember that theatre is an art form that encompasses all varied art forms, whether it's uh, dance, music, mm. design, costume design, set design, production, management, organisation. So all of it is within this umbrella of theatre. And if there are so many art forms that are within this umbrella, then don't you think the training yeah. required for it is at least 10 times that would be required That's for be much more intense, one art yeah. form. Uh, so that is uh, the main pointer that I would okay. give to the young people who would want to enter theater and films. Ma'am, in today's age, what scope do you think the theater provide? I think we are living in a very good time. Mm. Uh, the theater opportunities have increased and film opportunities have increased galore. So, uh, if we think that theatre means only being an actor, mm -hmm. where uh, we look for jobs in acting, I think that's a very myopic way of True. looking at this career. As I just counted all the different fields, mm -hmm. in the same way, uh, you can be an actor, you can be a sound designer, you can be a producer, an art director, a set designer, a costume designer, a manager, um, then you can be a technician, yeah, you know, who are paid very well. So there are many, many career opportunities within this field that you can look at. Also, uh, you can look at uh, being a facilitator, a trainer, a teacher, a director. So I think the scope is uh, phenomenal. I mean, theatre does provide a, an all-encompassing, you know, experience for everyone. Yeah. And you know, that brings me to my next question, which is in an age where OTT platforms are dominating the entertainment scene, where do you think theatre stands in that era? See, it's a very interesting time that we are living in, in the sense that uh, online, the artist did not stop working because we have to breathe art to survive. 
So, uh, all over the world, there were these different interventions where theatre had this love affair and then maybe it's going to be a marriage between theatre and the camera, the film. Mm. But how they are interacting with each other is again very interesting. Different artists have done different kind yeah. of interventions. Having said that, uh, you know, looking at this film and theatre coming very close, a relationship that we kind of always avoided and we never looked at. But the whole feel of theatre, you know, the going to the theatre, the energy that yeah. two people share, the vibes, the, um, you know, smell of it, the feel of it or the energy that you create together, mm. that moment that you live together is something that cannot be done on a screen. So that's where it is different, okay. but also it's coming together is also interesting. Ma'am, if I'm a student who's interested in pursuing theatre, where do I start? Like how start do I get with into the training? The start with the A B C of it. Ma'am, can you like uh, explain like you know like uh, what kind of training and you know what skills should I hone to become a good you know stage performer? So uh, first and foremost, you have to work on your body. A lot of it is about the mind also. So how do you first discover yourself? Self-discovery is a very important thing that you need to delve in. Once you've discovered yourself and you're one with yourself, you're ready to adorn different characters yeah. because we wear different souls from point to point. And to understand another soul, first you must understand the soul that this body yeah. inhabits. Right? So uh, I think first and foremost is the journey with oneself and then you go on to working on your body, on your voice, on your diction, on your dialogue delivery, on understanding the whole characterization. Yeah. So that means you also need to be a very sensitive human being who understands others, others you know, the pains, the joys, so true. everything that life uh, brings to you. So sensitization is also another important thing that you need to look into. So on I think it gives you a wonderful understanding about life itself. So you have created an all women theater group yeah. and then you went on to direct plays like Beyond Borders, mm -hmm. the then Dice of Desires. Mm -hmm. So what inspired you to, to direct plays with an all woman cast? Uh, I think it happened to me. This group okay. of uh, women came from a certain organization and uh, they said that they wanted to do theater. They are not from theater. Hmm. And I said the kind of theatre that I do is very grassroots, is uh, very harsh also at times and it may not be your cup of tea because you come from a very luxurious lifestyle, okay. a very uh, pampered lifestyle. But they were so hungry for it, they said let's give each other six months okay. and see whether it happens or not. So it's with a community of women uh, and every year more women join this hmm. course uh, who are not necessarily from the theatre background. Mm. They are homemakers, they are doctors, teachers, trainers, interior designers, um, did I say teachers? So yes. all this uh, community of people came and they are doing theatre. The range is from age 18 to 70. Wow. So some of them who joined after retirement and the kind of training we give them is uh, quite um, you know, it can be uh, kind of Inclusive. compared okay. compared with uh, a National School of Drama training hmm. because they get training in Kalari Payatu martial arts in Japanese Bhutto dance form and, you know, rubbing their knees on the floor. And the projects that you're talking about first and foremost came from themselves. Okay. What are their personal stories? And then recently we looked at uh, Beyond Borders, which is Beyond Borders of Nation, Caste, Color, Religion, Gender, Mind and Body. We started with immigration, but when we started reading, because we read for a year to collect material mm. for any production. So when we started reading, then all this kept on getting unfolded. And we said we cannot, um, you know, not talk about it in our production. So the canvas became very big. Uh, similarly, after, and that was done at uh, International Theatre Olympics. Uh, this Beyond Borders production was uh, 
uh, done over there. And then also uh, one of our plays, Bhavre Man Ke Sapne, was invited by Sark and ICCR to Sri Lanka. Uh, the reason I'm referring to these uh, beautiful moments is they meant a lot to these women who uh, are getting their identity mm. through theater. And they are becoming the markers in their community and kind of creating ripples wherein we are saying that the woman has an identity and okay. she has a voice and that voice needs to be heard even behind the four walls of very luxurious lifestyle that comes sometimes curbs your voice or shuts it off. And Dice of Desire that you talked about is about women of Mahabharata. I am very happy about this production also because it uh, helped us delve deep into what do the women of Mahabharata yeah, think? Exactly. What, are, what is the desire of Draupadi? Uh, and so many different desires came forward. The desire... Complicated story yes, in the Mahabharata. Yes, and no one ever talks about the yeah, women of the Mahabharata. The women of Mahabharata especially. So, uh, you know, the desire of education, desire of power, ambition, love, uh, sexual desires, all front, kinds all of, of them, desires yeah. which we never thought Gandhari would have or uh, you know Ganga would have or Draupadi, Kunti you know so when you see this production you say okay you know this is what they... Shikhandi also, absolutely, a very absolutely. powerful character. Yes, yes. So this is what that production talks well, about. That was a huge array of work that you can you know talk about. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your incredible views and opinions with us today ma'am. It was incredible having you with us in the studio today. I would like to leave you all with a performance by Ramanjit Kaur. Enjoy. Take care. Stay safe. See you soon. I'll render a poem by my dear friend and poet, Arthur Cardoso. Hey, look here. This is me. Recognize me? You don't. You don't want to, huh? I wonder why. I'm as gullible as you, as smart, as ambitious as you are. I have dreams as you do, great aspirations that I can fly. Don't believe me, huh? Come on, click your fingers and see. Come on, click them. Disappointed. I said I could fly, but I didn't. No, I didn't lie. I swear I can fly. There's flight in my very existence. I know what the problem is. I'm soaring, but you can't see. Myopic, huh? Me too. I have my faults. Lots of them, loads of them. But you, you want to think I'm perfect. Hey, look here. This is me.